Hey you guys, it's Tootie. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see here, I have a ton of uh, dirty nail tools. Let me see, can you see that? Let me zoom in a little bit. I have like a ton of dirty nail tools right here. So I need to get these clean. Usually when I'm finished doing nails, I'll either throw them in this little container right here, um, bits, nippers, or I don't know the last time why I ended up putting it in here, but I did, and I just shoved it in here until um, I was gonna get back to it. So I'm just gonna show you guys today how I clean my nail tools and get them ready for the next use. So it's real simple, um, well, kinda simple. I think I do, I am a little bit extra about cleaning my nail tools and stuff like that. But I do like uh, to be safe, and make sure I'm doing the best that I can do to keep myself and my clients' uh, nails safe and healthy. So first things first, um, I'm gonna start by taking a scrub brush like this. I just use an old one, I always leave it at my sink, and then I will just take some soap and water and scrub each and every one. I always wash my dampened dishes too. I keep a bunch of these dampened dishes so I could, um, rotate them and, and keep them clean. So I'll um, wash those as well. So let's get started. So this is like a two, well, it's like a day process, something like that. I don't know, I wouldn't call it a day, but. So with what I use to um, soak my tools in, like the cleaning solution or like, it's not barbicide, I use something else. It's been a while since I've cleaned my nail tools as you guys can see. Um, ever since this quarantine and everything, I haven't really been doing nails, so um, I'm gonna get it and show you guys what I use. Okay, guys, this been so long. <laughs> Feels like, but this is what I use. This is a sterilant, high-level disinfectant, so it kills um, it kills spores. It uh, where is it? Where's the thing? Yeah, it's a sporicide, tuberculocide, and fungicide. So that's why I like this. And another reason why I like this is because it's a 14-day reuse. So once you pour this in your container, which I'm just about to do, it's right here. Just put it in, drop them in here. But I'm not going to drop them in there tonight because with this, with this stuff here, um, you don't dilute it like barbicide. So... Um, but Barbara said you would, you know, pour a small portion and fill it up with water. And if you wash your nail tools and they were wet, you can still dump it in the Barbara side. At least that's how we did it when I was in nail school. Um, but with this stuff, you have to put um, your your tools in dry. So they have to basically um, be dry before you put them in. So in the evening, after I'm done do nails for that day or whatever. I would usually take all my tools, wash them, and then stick them, dry them up on some paper towels overnight. And then in the morning they're dry. I'll soak them in this solution for 20 minutes. And then I take it a step further by putting it in my um, little sterilizer baking machine. You guys saw a little video, but I'm gonna take you through all the steps, how I do it. And yeah, so it's the evening right now. I'm gonna get these all washed, and then in the morning, I'll be back, soak them, and sterilize them. So, I'll show you guys how I do everything.
you guys. So I have a lot of tools to finish washing. I'm gonna finish all these up. Okay, you guys, I still have a lot, obviously, more to do. Um, so this is basically what I do. I'll wash them with soap and water, rinse them, and then they will dry on a paper towel overnight. So they're fully dry. And obviously, I do nails from home, so I like doing this at night because my kids aren't going to be coming in here in the middle of the night, touching these, knocking them on the floor, or doing anything. By the time I wake up in the morning and take care of it, they won't even know that I did this. So that's why I do this at night, let them dry all night instead of doing this during the day. But I'm going to finish and fill this up with nail tools. Okay, you guys, so I'm all done. It looks like less than it was when it was all bunched together, but I'm gonna let these dry overnight. Also, be careful when washing the um, drill bits because I almost dropped one down my drain. Um, so I'm all done with washing, my, um, with washing my nail tools and everything like that. So I'm gonna let them fully dry. And then in the morning, I'll be back to finish them off. All right, see you guys in a minute. Okay, you guys, so if you hear my kids, they're starting to wake up. Um, but anyway, before I get started, I think I'm just gonna throw all my bits. So when you do drill bits, um, you can't leave them in here more than 20 minutes. If you leave them in here more than 20 minutes, it will peel off the coating. So um, 20 minutes is the max that you can leave these in here. And then I'll probably do these, because these could fit my pushers, cubicle pushers, and I can probably fit my scissors. So those are all the things I could fit right now. So let's see, let's go ahead and see, I don't know if you can tell, but they're fully, they're gonna be fully covered. So yeah, everything is fully covered and set a timer for 20 minutes. So I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes because I don't wanna go past 20 minutes. And the rest of this stuff, well, this will go in, this will probably, I don't know, I'll probably do that last because I might have to flip it. But these two things right here cannot be heated. So I like to sometimes put these in every now and then just to make sure they're nice and clean and sterilized and stuff. Um, I won't put these in here. So the last things that I go in is my nippers and my um, um, nail clippers or whatever. So I'm gonna let this go for 20 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys. So. Those uh, drill bits have uh, 17 more minutes, but I just wanted to show you guys this. So after I soak them in there for 20 minutes, I will put them in here for uh, an hour. I'll wait till everything is done, and then I'll put them in here. I still have some in here from the last time that I did it. So um, I got this off eBay. Now, I got this a little while ago. I think you can probably find these on Amazon, um, eBay. You could. I don't know, you could probably get them on Wish, who knows? But they come with a plug like this. So be careful when you're ordering these and make sure you tell them you need a, like an adapter piece for whatever country like you live. So they sent me this with this because I specified I needed like a US plug or whatever. Um, so yeah, so I'll plug this in while these um, thing when I'm all, close to being all done I will preheat this so I'll set it up for 15 minutes because it says you only when I got this it said you only needed to bake the tools for 15 minutes for them to be sterilized but it seems like it takes that amount of time to warm up so I usually like to warm it up for 15 minutes and then I'll leave it in for I'll just set it for an hour just to know um, everything is all good so I will do that when everything is all done okay you guys um basically so lift it up and with these um you have to take them out of here so do not use your bare hands because this stuff will eat at your skin like trust me when i first started using it you have to wear gloves when you're dealing with this stuff because it will turn your skin all white it'll burn so so bad anybody that uses this knows so always wear gloves you have to take these out and you can't leave this stuff on it'll it'll give like a real sticky uh residue you have to rinse this off with water so you have to rinse it all off and 
You don't have to 100% dry before you put in the sterilizer stain, but you do need to like rinse everything off. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab, well, let me grab one. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> just going to rinse them off with some warm water. And that's pretty much, these are pretty much ready to go. You can use them on your client. No, I don't think you'd have any issues, but I just like to take it a step further and, and bake them up. So that's what I'm going to do now, but I'm going to first finish putting all my tools through the um, preamp or whatever. Stuff. So I'm going to rinse all these, put them on the paper towel, and then I'll put them in my um, machine thing. All right, those are all done and rinse. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place these ones in. I don't know if I can fit. Uh, I don't know where I have them. Let's see, I could probably fit three. Uh, let me try this one. No. Let's see. Let's see if it goes all the way over. Yeah. Let's see. I just like to check and make sure like it's fully submerged. So I like to just lift it and make sure it's all wet. And yeah, it's all good. So I could fit three of those now. So I'm gonna let those go and put all these in the machine. All right, you guys. So I have this set at the highest temperature. It's like uh, 200, 220 Celsius. I just leave it at the highest one. And I'm gonna preheat this for about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna plug it in when you see the light. You hear it ticking, but it's not doing nothing but counting down. Plug it in, make sure the light is on. So it's on, it's just sunny, so you can't tell, but it's on. Uh, I'll be back in about 15 minutes to put the tools. Okay, you guys, so I have all my tools. I, um, put them all in the solution, rinse them and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer to 60 and that's it. When it dings, I'll be back to put them in some pouches to keep them protected from getting dirty or um, anything like that. So that's basically it. I'm gonna show you guys that. The, this thing over here, I'm gonna soak in there, but this is plastic, so I can't put in here. So everything that I can put in here is already in here. So. All right, be back in a minute. Hour, not a minute, an hour. Okay, you guys, so the timer just went off. These are all done. It's really, really warm, really hot, actually. Um, so I'm going to let these cool off before I handle them. And later on today, I will put them in the uh, bags for you guys to see. All my tools are cool. All my tools are cool now. So I'm going to go ahead and put some gloves on and then put them in their seal bags. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my longer one. So I'll just take it out, open it. I'll take, I'll do this way. Put, put the point down. So when I'm taking it out, I don't cut myself. Just shove it in. And then I'll go ahead and put a pusher in there. And I will also go ahead and put one of these in there and one of these in there. All my extra drill bits that don't have, um, this is what I'll basically use in one service. So I'll just go ahead and seal it on. And that's that. It's ready. That's what I consider ready. So I'm gonna finish all these up. And then whatever extra drill bits that don't go with a full service kit, I would say, um, will go in here alone. So I'm gonna continue on with that and then, but that's basically it, you guys. I'm gonna finish doing all these and that's basically how I clean my tools and how I get them ready for nail services. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.